so this is an integrated video to show you how to use several tools we've gone over to practice them together in a scenario that is representative of the sort of thing you might have to do. I have a area here in the Arrowhead, the northeastern region of Minnesota, and I want to digitize a loop. Let's say we have a race or maybe we have uh, some project going on there, and I want to basically add to line work that already exists and separate pe separate out pieces of line work. So here I have Greenwood Lake and the connected or almost connected set of roads around it. And I know because I've driven up here that there's a road that connects across so I can build a loop. And here's that piece of missing road. It's not in these existing road data layers. So what I'd like to do is copy the road where it exists and digitize a new road for that missing piece to separate that loop, which I can then distribute. Well, I first want to set the street road data layer. Here's my active data layer. And then use the selection tool to select the roads, the segments that I want. So if I will hold uh, the shift and drag this selection tool across a new piece, it adds it to the selected set. So I'm going to go here and select the pieces of road that connect together to my missing piece. So these are all the pieces I select. Now you notice there's an issue here. It selects a larger segment. I'll have to then edit that later on, but I'll digitize this piece connecting these two. So here's the next place I'll want to continue for my loop. And let's say I want the loop to go out and collect this piece instead of that shortest along the base of the hill. And so I have all these and select it around the loop except for my missing piece. So I can right click on the existing data layer and export the selected features. And I'll export the new selected feature to something I'll call my partial loop. So the partial loop will be in the current coordinate system, which is my UTM, which I want as a target. The geometry type, type I will make a line string, or I could go with automatic because that's already a line string. And I'll say OK. And so I have my new loop successfully exported. So I will then turn this um, street load off just to get it out of the way. And I want to change the properties so that I can see this a little better. So I'll go to a wider, uh, brighter colored segment. And I can say, OK, here I have a piece I want to digitize and pieces I want to cut. So I could start with the cutting. I can basically use the arrow keys and the zoom in to identify this piece that I want to cut right here. So I can select that and I'll open this partial loop for editing. Remember there's this editing button here and I have the advanced editing and the topology tools turned on. This advanced editing tools, there's a split parts or split features. So I can basically set that feature up, um, set that split feature tool on and I can left click and cross over and left click again and then I right click and it splits the piece off. Now this is selected so if while it's selected I hit the delete key right? I can right click and delete this feature. Oops, most features were split. I still have the split on so what I have to do then is select this feature right? and then I can delete it and away it goes. So I hit the delete key on the computer. I can do that same thing again then at this other piece that extends beyond where I want. Right, I'm going to come in across here and join and come down. So I can split it right there at this join. So again, have my selection tool on, select, do the split feature tool, cross at the point I want with a series of left clicks, then right click, and it splits those two pieces. Now I have to select the piece I want to get rid of and hit the delete key and away it goes. So I edited it to get ready to accept my new digitizing. I'll check and make sure that I have the snapping on to point to vertices and to segments and then to the middle of segments. So I have all those turn on to snap. I can set the snap distance to whatever I'd like. Eight is probably fine. Make sure snapping is set on and then start digitizing new features. I'll zoom in for the new line and I can see snapping pulls it over as I get close and I'll digitize along. Now I'll do this digitizing and I'll speed this section up because it's going to take a while and you don't really learn anything by watching me.
And then when I'm done, I save it by a left click of the end where it snaps, then a right click and I say OK. And I have that new feature. And so now I have this, all these features basically digitized all the way across. And I've created my loop. Now I can open the attribute table after I save and stop editing. And if I look at the attribute table at partial loop, I can see I have all these codes and things I don't necessarily need. So as we've shown before, I'm going to open this for editing and delete some of these. I don't need the street prefix or the street type or the street surface because there's nothing in there or the E911 or the route system or the route number, the disk code or the divided on or the traffic DI. So I'll get rid of all those. I do have the shape length. I want to find the total length of each of the segments and really the total length of the route. And for these new features, the ones I added, there's no length. So I can use the abacus file update tool to calculate into the field. And instead of creating the new field, I'm going to update that shape length field. I'm going to use the geometry, basically the length feature down here. Um, and so if I do that to calculate the length, I'll say OK. And it should then see update those, the shape length. Now suppose I want to calculate the kilometers because I don't want to know the distance in meters. And then the expression for that one's going to be fields and values. It will be the shape length divided by a thousand. And so that's going to be the number of kilometers because it's a thousand meters per kilometer. And I say, OK, and so that's the total number of kilometers for each of those segments. Some are much longer than others. Finally, if I want to save that and close and find the total kilometers of the loop, I can go ahead to my show statistical summary. And then I have here this statistical summary showing up where the sum is 48 kilometers. So that ends up being about 30 miles for the loop. This concludes our mini example of how to put together pieces in the various short videos we've presented before, how to select features, how to split them in digitizing, digitize new features, and various other tools combined that complete a workflow and give you information you're after, in this case, creating a new loop and getting the total distance for that new loop. It's just one small example. We'll have more in the future on how to integrate.